Hi everyone, today we will be discussing botanical gardens and herbarium. Following are the contents, botanical garden, definition of botanical garden, history of botanical garden, role of botanical gardens. Herbarium, definition of herbarium, importance of herbarium. Botanical garden, definition. Botanical gardens are institution holding documented collection of living plants for the purpose of scientific research, conservation and education. So, a botanical garden is actually in ex situ conservation which means a type of conservation where the living plants are grown away from the original habitat. A botanical garden has three purposes. The first one is scientific research. Number two, conservation which means protection of plant species. Number three, education. History of botanical garden. The first botanical gardens were established during the Middle Ages. In 16th century, garden existed in many cities of Italy such as Pisa, Bologna, and Leiden, etc. These botanical gardens were mostly planted with aromatic and medicinal herbs and plants. The first U.S. botanical garden was established in 1728. So the history started somewhere in 15th century. It was mostly adopted, the botanical garden was mostly established in Italy with medicinal plant and some herbs along with some trees. In the picture you see one of the most popular botanical garden in the world, Royal Botanic Gardens, Kiev, situated in UK. In the second pic picture you see a botanical garden from India, Kolkata, which is situa situated in West Bengal in India. It covers an area of 109 hectare and, uh, and about 270 acres. Its name is Acharya Jagdesh Chandra Bosi Indian Botanic Garden. This picture is taken from the Botanical Garden of Pakistan Forest Institute situated in Peshawar, Pakistan. It, is, it was established somewhere in 1949 till 1952. It is one of the oldest botanical gardens in Pakistan. It covers an area of about 6, six acres. It has 37 families which, which are arranged in 16 plots. Role of Botanical Gardens Number 1. Global Mission in Conservation and Scientific Species Recovery So it helps in the uh, protection and the recovery of some threatened or in endangered species, living collection management, seed banks and tissue storage. So it also helps in the management as well as, uh, as, well as healthy seeds and tissue storage. Biodiversity Conservation ex situ and in situ and habitat restoration. So it helps in the habitat restoration of some areas, linking conservation and poverty elevation, building capacity for the conservation of plant diversity, public education and environmental awareness through working with local communities, using biodiversity to improve human well-being, Introduction of plant for agriculture, horticulture and healthcare. So a botanical garden actually works on different species to grow which are then which are then introduced in agriculture, horticulture and healthcare according to the uh, growth and herbarium definition. The word herbarium referred to books about medicinal plant but around 1700, Joseph used the word to describe a collection of dried plants. Herbarium is a data bank of the plant natural resources of a given region or a country in dried form. It serves as a, re a reference center and a documentation facility for all the scientists and common men dealing with plants. It is filed in separate sheets. The specimen provide information about the morphology of the species while the label offer taxonomic and locality information. So the word herbarium was actually 
used for uh, a book uh, about medicinal plants but it was used uh, by sir joseph uh, for dry plants and the herbarium actually means the storage or data bank of dried plants and it is it is actually uh, it is actually the protection of species it it pro the the specimen provide the morphological uh, characteristic the morphological information while the label attached with the specimen it gives the taxonomic and the locality information along with the person who collected the specimen in the picture you see in the first picture you see a herbarium sheet uh, which is a standard sheet along with the label uh, uh, label uh, label sheet which provide information about where it is collect from where it is collected what is the species etc in the second uh, picture you see a filed herbarium sheet in cold storage actually in the past uh, in the uh, in the past era the uh, herbarium uh, sheets they were collected in the form of uh, volumes but now they are uh, they are collected and stored in the form of files and the files are stored in cold storage so that it may uh, stay for a long time importance of herbarium sources source of information on flora of a region it is a permanent record anyone can access check identification in use for research a source for teaching and comparison of uh, species from different areas during different times so the importance is very much simple it provides information of species of different region has the specimen from different area is collected to one point and you can separate that this uh, specimen is from this this area and this specimen is from this area and in that way you can arrange the information about the flora of different region it is a permanent record it is a because the living plant can be uh, can uh, can can be uh, uh, can be endangered due to climatic condition etc but this specimen and the herbarium sheet is a permanent record which can be uh, accessed by any person uh, for uh, identification or for uh, any research purpose and it is a source of teaching as well as comparison where person is doing some sort of research and he is he found some species unknown species so he can compare the species to find whether it is a known species or it should be named etc so that's all from today it's the end of